Hey guys, Zigwarf back again, and today we are playing Minecraft. This is day 39 or 40, I can't remember. Um, but in the last episode, you probably thought it was an abrupt ending, because it was. I ended on the final stand. And this is for a very good reason, because the rest of the episode was way too long, so I had to cut it all out. And I have a few clips from that that I'm going to share with you in this episode. But, at the beginning of this episode, I want to show you guys what I've been working on. So I have this pick, which is not really a mending pick, but it's really low. And I have several other picks which are really low that I haven't decided to repair because I'm lazy. I don't want to use diamonds just yet. I want to lower all my picks and then repair them all at the same time. And, uh, ooh, that doesn't look nice. That's not a good idea. Okay. I'm just finding things right now that don't work right now for me. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's put cobble in there. Okay, cool. Now that that works a little better. Okay, so this is a bridge. Now you must be wondering, what in the world is this bridge over? Well, you can probably sort of see it. This is our brand new canal or ravine or canyon, I guess you could call it. I'm going to fix up the edges. They look a little too flat right now. Um... But yeah, this goes quite a ways. I have a map back in the castle, which is great. It looks pretty cool. And, um, well, I think the point of this is to actually make something look a little better uh, over there. I'll show you what it is. So this is how it's looking right now. It used to just be cut off over there. This used to be all land, all of this. But now you can see how this ravine um, canal thing is going to go gonna go from here all the way here through and then it's gonna go through here and then all the way to the ocean sort of the swamp ocean thing here which isn't really an ocean it's just a swamp biome um, but yeah that's basically what it's gonna do and um, that's gonna be fun we're also gonna fix things like this we're gonna connect that river to that lake and then we're gonna make this wider and just make things look more realistic and finish this river make sure it actually flows out of the map and we're going to maybe put one more layer of maps around it and then stop editing uh, uh, terraforming after that point. Um, but right now, that's what we're doing. And we have a few cool new things going on. Um, it's actually be better when we can see it up there. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, yeah. So you can see here that we have a few extra little features around around these buildings. I'm, I'm trying to clean stuff up, make things look pretty nice around these areas, and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. I made those little um, path blocks instead of this kind of cobble mix. Oops. This cobble mix of um, things, stone like this kind of path. Um, so the decision to change that is interesting. <laughs> and I'm going to either stick to it and continue and make this the industrial area where there are all these little tiny farms, Oh, or I'll change that. Oh, look. There's that cave in there. <laughs> That's fun. Um, so anyway, up here we have a little different place. Um, so <laughs> that sort of sounds funny. Um, but here's a bridge with glowstone on it. That's not really the point. But down here is our little ravine kind of thing flowing into this spot, which is deeper and deeper. And we could probably make it even deeper than that, which will... I think fit with the landscape and it goes around here. I'm I think it looks pretty good. It fits with the landscape in my mind. We're going to have to clean stuff up like this area. You can see that's a hanging overhang. We can still have overhangs, but I think that's a little much right now. Um so this this canal trench thing was actually designed to make this area look better right here. Yeah. Oop. That was bad. Before, you know, there was like nothing there and it just sort of was awkward and sort of looked like it needed to be a canal or something. I could have probably made a lake and gotten away with it, but I wanted to get this canal through. And it's hard making it look good because it's so far down to get to the normal um, water level, which is 62. Well, 63 actually. Um, or 62. I don't know. Somewhere around there. It's one or one up or one down. We're going to have to figure out how to make all this look like it's part of the castle, but also merging with rock and stuff like that. Um, but I, I think this area looks a little bit better with with what we got here. Um, 
That looks really strange, but really interesting too. We can do interesting things in this corner. And I'm thinking when, when I do get an elytra, it would be fun to swoop down from that bridge and go along the canal. We'll see. We'll see. I have to still look for an elytra and get one. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this canal goes all the way to the ocean uh, over there, which isn't very far. You can see it's all cut out and looks weird. That's because I'm working on it. It takes a long time. Um, this area actually took forever to cut out, which is sort of sad. This is our little sugarcane farm with bud switches and stuff like that. Uh, we've got a stack and 39 sugarcane. After a few hours of playing, I would think about three or four, um, or maybe even five. I don't, I don't know really, but I mean, that's good enough for me because right now I don't really need that much. And as long as I'm just getting a sort of steady flow without doing any work, I'm okay. So I may expand this farm and make it a little bit bigger. Um, and what I'm working with right now, this kind of a setup only works in a certain way. It doesn't, or in a certain orientation, the way redstone is updated, it doesn't work in the other way. It just sort of updates this piston and it becomes an infinite loop basically and that's what was happening in an episode that i showed you guys this i don't remember which episode but i was trying to explain it but yeah just that was just a quick note so the cactus farm is also one of those kind of farms where we can just leave it and even if it's small it doesn't really matter that much because i don't use a lot of cactus all the time i just want to have some when i do need it and uh, so this is working pretty well for such a small cactus farm, and I'm pretty happy with what I've got so far. I mean, all I'll, I'll really need at a time is probably a stack of cactus, unless I build something extremely big. Okay, so we're over here in... Uh, where are we, actually? Yeah, um, I may have given it away. This is the dual mob spawner, basically. The dual zombie spawner, really. Um... And let me just show you what I've done here. I've torn out the glass, really. That's all I've done in this area. Um, and I've built that. Yeah. What is that, you may ask? Well, this is the new mob area. Basically, this is where the grinder is going to be. I'm going to make a grinder. Um, this is not what the grinder is right now. That's a different system that I tried to build. This is what I tried to build in the last episode that I cut out. Um, so I'm going to give you a little clips of what I was doing, basically, and I'll explain what I was trying to do at the end of the episode, or during, during those clips. We'll see what happens. Just to clarify before I start these clips, um, I was totally, like, confused, and I took forever to figure things out here. I, I was, like, working on this for three hours, trying to figure out a way to do this in survival, which was really annoying because I had to keep going back for materials and coming back here. Um, but I think I'm pretty prepared now. I have all I really need. All the redstone is somewhere else. There's redstone involved, yeah. Um, and this is how it's going to be, basically. So we can look up, we can look down. Not really far down, but we can look down. And then, oh, maybe. Anyway, I have ideas. I have ideas that we may implement and stuff like that. Maybe a glass floor with... A view of where the zombies go afterward. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, the the point of this was to have a dual um, system where you could switch really quick if you see a zombie villager fall down, and um, and then and then they'll fall into this chamber, which will when you hit that button, which is stupidly placed, um, they'll fall down and go in an item stream or, or not an item stream, a zombie stream. <laughs> <laughs> I want to call them a zombie stream. And they'll go into the zombie stream and they'll fall in each one of these individually. So when one's in here, they'll hit the pressure plate and block a water stream or something and make the other one go somewhere else. And so on and so forth until we have four and then we don't do that anymore when we have four. And then we can convert all these zombies to zombie uh, zombie villagers to, to villagers. And then have like a villager holding area. Um, and then there was going to be a second place. This was actually where the zombie villagers were going to come out. But now we're going to make this, in this this area here, we're going to tear this down, um, is going to be the the crusher, basically. So an XP grinder, basically. And, and also a zombie flesh collector, so we can get some nice emeralds from those zombie fleshes. I want to move all this, this setup, this whole setup, I want to move it down there. Oh, looky here, here we are on the other side. Okay, well, we got to start somewhere. Okay, guys, this is what I have done so far. 
there's a little pathway and all that across there. I'm probably going to do something on the back wall over there on the other side of this spawner thing. This spawner chamber, I, I guess you could call it, right here. And everything else I think will stay the same, except for up there maybe I'll fill it in and make it look similar to the other places. Um, now, I like this. I like the look of this. It doesn't have to look super fancy to me. It, I think I, I, I think how it is is nice. So now the, the only difference that I'm going to add to this compared to that one over there is that it's going to look nicer, it's going to be finished, sort of. You know, more finished, it's going to be planned instead of just thrown together because I wanted to get a spawner running. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I've changed the layout up quite a bit. This I need to tear down still. Um, oops. I'm, yeah, there, oh, that despawned, okay. Um, anyway, so this is how it's looking, basically. We're going to put some uh, something in front of that. I think there's too much wood right now. We're going to change that up a bit. But this is what's happening, okay? So this is going to be the second route, basically. There are going to be mobs that fall through this hole over here, right? And this will be where where we get zombie villagers. Now, it's not going to automatically um, sort them. So, like, if we're observing here and we see a zombie villager fall through, we hit, like, a button or, or flip a, a lever and it'll change the route of the whole system to send zombies, all the zombies, into this little compartment. So this is how it works. You know what a um, redstone uh, elevator is? I guess you could call it. I don't know what it's called, um, but basically the torch trick. So that if this, po uh, this block is powered, the that torch will be off, basically. And you use that to, to carry a redstone signal upward, straight up vertically. Um, the only problem is that it alternates per every other block, you know, like that. So the cool part about this is that it's perfect for my my case. So over here we have a working example. There's this redstone torch, torch up here with one piece of redstone here, and then this block, and then the trap door, right? And then then it's identical to this over here, over here. And look, so once once I get on top of this this um, pressure plate. We're going to close this trap door. Pow. So that's exactly what I want. And that's how I've designed it. Um, and this is all going to be filled in. To make it look pretty and all that kind of stuff. Hey, I'm a zombie. That was the worst. Anyway, so I'm acting like I'm a zombie. I'm going to swim up. I'm going to just let the current take me away. This is a test for us. I have a feeling that's a problem. Oh, wait, that's not a problem. It may be a problem. So if you notice, there are a lot of trapdoors around here. I wonder if... I wonder how this will turn out. Okay, so all of you are there, and I can't hit the button. So there are two mistakes here. Perfect, okay. They let me hit the button. Now they're never, never, ever gonna fall down. Watch this. They're never gonna fall down. <laughs> if any of them fall down, I'd be very surprised. Now we're gonna have to figure out how to do this right. My guess is the next best thing to do is to have... I guess we're gonna have to do pistons. Oh, there's one. Uh-oh, we got a problem. He didn't fall in the first section. And we don't have any more falling in. Something's wrong here. Oh, ouchie. Okay, something went wrong. We're gonna have to look it up. Well, we got something to work. Oh, I see what happened there. Okay. We're gonna have to use sticky pistons. Anyway, that is the end of this episode. Um, I built quite a bit. I know it doesn't look like much, but there was a lot of technical stuff and sort of, oh my goodness, it was a lot. Yeah, we built that thing.
and did some failed building and and this whole contraption thing that's all redstone which i'm not that great at but i really like to work with because it's like a big puzzle um so yeah and that button needs to move anyway so that's the end of this one thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one